Why is programming and software engineering so vital in our world today? Let's take a moment to explore this question. We live in an era where technology is woven into the very fabric of our lives. From the moment we wake up, to the moment we go to sleep, technology is there, playing a crucial role in our daily routines. Think about it. Our smartphones, the self-driving cars, the way we shop, communicate, and even how we consume entertainment. All of these are powered by programming and software engineering. These are the invisible forces that drive the digital revolution, making our lives simpler, more connected, and infinitely more interesting. These innovations are the result of countless hours spent by programmers and software engineers, writing and refining the codes that bring these technologies to life. Without their invaluable contribution, the world as we know it would look very different. Now that we understand the importance of programming and software engineering, let's delve into the lives of some influential figures who have shaped this field. Meet Alan Turing, the man often called the father of modern computing. Born in London in the early 20th century, Turing was a mathematician, logician, and theoretical biologist, but his most significant contributions lay in the realm of computer science. During World War II, Turing played a crucial role in cracking intercepted coded messages that enabled the Allies to defeat the Nazis. At Britain's code-breaking center, Bletchley Park, he devised techniques for speeding the process of deciphering the German Enigma encrypted messages. His work saved countless lives and is often credited with shortening the war by as much as two years. But Turing's influence didn't stop at the end of the war. He also developed the concept of the Turing machine, a hypothetical device that manipulates symbols on a strip of tape according to a set of rules. Despite its simplicity, the Turing machine can simulate the logic of any computer algorithm, and it's a fundamental concept in the field of theoretical computer science. Turing's work laid the groundwork for the modern theory of computation and provided a blueprint for the electronic computers of the future. He envisioned machines that could not only compute but learn, adapt, and evolve, essentially planting the seeds for the field of artificial intelligence. Tragically, Turing's life was cut short, and his groundbreaking work wasn't fully recognized during his lifetime. However, his legacy lives on in every computer, smartphone, and intelligent device we use today. His ideas continue to shape the evolving fields of artificial intelligence and machine learning, proving that his vision was well ahead of his time. Alan Turing, a visionary who laid the foundation for the digital age we live in today. Next, we have Grace Hopper, a trailblazer in the field of software engineering. Born in the early 20th century, Grace Murray Hopper was a mathematician, computer scientist, and a United States Navy Rear Admiral. But most importantly, she was a visionary. A visionary who foresaw a world where programming was accessible, not just to a handful of scientists, but to anyone with an idea and a will to bring it to life. Grace Hopper's most significant contribution to software engineering was the invention of the first compiler. Now, you might wonder, what's a compiler? Think of it as a translator, converting human-friendly programming languages into machine-friendly code. Before Hopper's invention, programming a computer was a laborious task, requiring intimate knowledge of the machine's inner workings. But with the compiler, Hopper turned programming into a more abstract, creative process, opening the door to a whole new world of software development. But Hopper didn't stop there. She was instrumental in the development of one of the first high-level programming languages, COBOL. Short for Common Business Oriented Language, COBOL was designed to be readable, almost like English. This was revolutionary at a time when most programming was done in arcane, machine-specific languages. COBOL made programming more accessible, and it quickly became the go-to language for business applications. Even today, decades later, COBOL still runs a significant portion of the world's business systems. Grace Hopper was more than just a brilliant scientist. She was a trailblazer, a role model, and a mentor. She was a strong advocate for the democratization of programming, and she believed in the power of education to change lives. She once said, The most important thing I've accomplished, other than building the compiler, is training young people. They come to me, you know, and say, Do you think we can do this? I say, Try it. And I back them up. Grace Hopper, a true pioneer, whose work continues to impact the software we use every single day. Now let's talk about Linus Torvalds, the creator of Linux and Git. Here's a man who has left an indelible mark on the world of technology. Born in Helsinki, Finland, Torvalds has been instrumental in shaping the landscape of modern computing. His first groundbreaking creation, the Linux kernel. 
In the early 90s, Torvalds embarked on a project to create a new, free operating system. His goal was simple, to build something that he, and other computer enthusiasts like him, could tinker with and improve. This ambition materialized into the Linux kernel, the core of what would become the Linux operating system. What's fascinating about the Linux kernel is that it is open source, meaning anyone, anywhere can contribute to its development. This system of collaborative improvement has allowed Linux to grow and adapt at a rapid pace, and today it forms the backbone of countless servers, supercomputers, and even Android phones. But Torvald's contributions to the world of technology don't stop there. He also created Git, a distributed version control system that has become a cornerstone of software development. With Git, developers can track changes in their code, collaborate with others, and manage different versions of their projects. It's an essential tool in the developer's toolbox, and it's hard to imagine the world of coding without it. The impact of Torvald's creations is hard to overstate. Linux powers a significant portion of the Internet's infrastructure, and Git is used by millions of developers worldwide. And yet, despite his enormous influence, Torvalds remains a humble and dedicated contributor to the open-source community. Torvald's story is an inspiring testament to the power of collaboration and the open-source philosophy. He saw a need for accessible, community-driven tools and created solutions that not only met these needs but exceeded all expectations. Linus Torvalds, a revolutionary figure whose creations power much of the internet and software development today. Next up is Margaret Hamilton, the software engineer who played a key role in the Apollo moon missions. Margaret Hamilton's story is one that takes us back to the heyday of space exploration. It's the late 1960s, and NASA is on a mission. A mission to land a man on the moon. This was no small feat, and every piece of the puzzle had to fit perfectly, including the software that would guide the spacecraft. Hamilton was the director of the Software Engineering Division at the MIT Instrumentation Laboratory, which developed the onboard flight software for the Apollo missions. Now this wasn't a time when software engineering was a well-established field. In fact, the term software engineering itself was coined by Hamilton during the course of her work on the Apollo projects. She envisioned a world where software development was given as much importance as hardware development. Hamilton believed that the process of creating software should be systematic, quantifiable, and improvable, just like any other engineering discipline. This perspective was revolutionary at the time and laid the groundwork for modern software engineering principles. One of Hamilton's most significant contributions was her insistence on rigorous testing. Her team performed scenario-based testing, trying to anticipate and simulate all possible issues the software might face during a mission. This approach proved invaluable during the Apollo 11 mission when an unexpected issue occurred moments before landing. Thanks to Hamilton's robust software design and exhaustive testing, the lunar module was able to land safely, making history. Hamilton's work on the Apollo missions was a testament to the power and potential of software engineering. It demonstrated that well-crafted software could not only augment hardware, but could also play a vital role in achieving what seemed impossible. Her contributions to the field have earned her numerous awards and recognitions, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian award in the United States. But perhaps her greatest achievement is the legacy she left behind. A world where software engineering is recognized as a critical discipline in its own right. Margaret Hamilton, a luminary who literally took software engineering to new heights. Finally, we have Tim Berners-Lee, the man who gave us the World Wide Web. Born in London, Berners-Lee is best known for his invention that has revolutionized our lives. Imagine our world without the web. It's almost unthinkable, isn't it? In 1989, Berners-Lee began work on a project to create a global hypertext system. This project would later become known as the World Wide Web. He designed and built the first web browser and server and in doing so he laid the groundwork for a new digital era. He introduced us to the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP, the Uniform Resource Locator or URL, and the Hypertext Markup Language or HTML. These three components form the backbone of the web as we know it today, a place where information is shared and accessed freely across the globe. Tim Berners-Lee a game-changer whose creation has transformed how we live, work, and play.